Hi, I'm Maya Barron of Virginia Track and Field, and today I'm interviewing Heather Smith about her PRs last weekend at the Fred Hardy Invite in Richmond. Um, she PR'd there in the 100 hurdles with a time of 13.88, which is the fifth best all time at UVA, and in the 400 hurdles with a time of 59.41, which was the seventh best all time at UVA. So how did it feel to finally break that one minute mark in the 400 hurdles? That's obviously a huge milestone and a big deal when you break that one minute. So, um, It was very surprising, shocking, exciting all at the same time. Um, I know last year I opened up with a 61 and I was trying so hard throughout the whole season to break it and it just feels really good to, you know, break my PR by over a second with the first meet. So, Great job. So um, how has your training this year enabled you to open up your outdoor season with two big PRs like that? Um, training this year has been very intense. Um, over the summer, I really worked hard so I could come back in shape mm -hmm. for um, the conditioning period. And um, my coach, Coach Randolph, has just been pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. So yeah. during practice, I'd you know be a little upset about it, but you know it's all paying off now, so I'm I'm happy. Awesome. So what is your favorite thing about Coach Randolph as a coach? Um, coach Randolph is very supportive. He's very kind. He's Because he was an athlete himself, he was a 400-meter hurdler mm -hmm. in college. He was a 100-meter hurdler in college. And so he gets it. So when we're talking about how our bodies feel after a weight day or how this, that, and that, how we feel, he takes it all into consideration. He's just – he's a he's the type of coach that – He's not just a track coach. You can talk to him about anything. He's like a person, too. Yeah. So just having that relationship with him has been very helpful throughout my whole career. Great. So obviously the hurdles, and especially the 400 hurdles, um, are very tough events. And the 400 hurdles is known in the track and field, field world as being one of the most grueling races. Um, what goes through your head during those last 100 meters of the race when you start getting tired? I just have to hold on. Um, with the 400 hurdles, it's one of my favorite events just because the hurdles are in the way so it's painful but you know that if you fall over that hurdle that is going to be is going to be bad <laughs> so just focusing on the next hurdle and then just getting through the finish line um it's painful but it's kind of like a distraction mm -hmm. hurdles are very definitely a distraction so it just it, it evens out yeah. <laughs> definitely a, a rewarding event when you cross that finish line that's for sure mm -hmm. um, Okay, so out of the 100 hurdles and the 400 hurdles, which race do you think is your favorite? The 400 hurdles was always my favorite event, mm -hmm. but now it's coming because I wasn't that good at the 100 hurdles. I just used it for training for the 400 gotcha. hurdles, so for like speed work and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm getting better in the short yeah. hurdles, it's it's kind of it's evening up a little bit. But mm -hmm. I would definitely say the 400 hurdles is still my favorite. Gotcha. So, what has been your favorite moment thus far in your three years on the UVA track and field team, whether in a competition, um, traveling, out of practice? What's been your like most rewarding moment? Wow. Um, I think just this whole, you know, third year, third year for me has been mm -hmm. great. Um, coming out of indoor with you know my hurdle PRs, and then now starting the season off with PRs, just seeing that all the work that I've been putting in for the past couple of years is finally showing yeah, up. So. Absolutely. Um, what are your goals now going forward in this outdoor season? You've got Florida Relays coming up um, that you leave for tomorrow and obviously going forward to ACCs and whatnot. Um, my overall goal is just looking more towards the end of the season mm -hmm. when it comes to ACCs. If I get on that podium, that yeah. would be great. No matter what time I run, if everyone runs you know, 62 seconds and I run 61 seconds and mm -hmm. I get second place, I'm perfectly fine. Um, just working my way to, you know, like NCAA. I would love to qualify for NCAAs, yeah. um, but just taking it a step at a time. So just when it comes to the championship time, just, you know, compete when it's time to. Great. All right. This has been an interview with Heather Smith, and I'm Maya Barron of Virginia Track and Field. Thanks for watching.